Today, we are turning this into this. We're making pita chips today. Welcome back to Sushi Labs. We are uh, doing something a little experimental today. I have a freezer that is kind of a black hole. Things go in the freezer and then they get forgetten, forgotten about, forgotten about. And this is especially a problem being a cooking streamer and then a cooking YouTuber where I will buy ingredients for a recipe and then not use up the ingredients and now I have all these leftover ingredients, but I never get around to using them. That ends today. Bit by bit, I kind of want to do, we're gonna do some random sushi labs, just sort of whenever we can fit them in to use up these random ingredients that are in my freezer, that are in my pantry, just like all these little bits of things that need to be used up that I don't normally have a reason to use them. Today's ingredient is pita bread. I got this pita bread, I wanna say it was for a cookbook club, and I just had it on the side. They ate a little bit of it, but then I had all of this pita bread left over, and it went in the freezer, and then I never used it. So the first thing that kind of comes to mind with pita bread is to make homemade pita chips. But son was like, that's boring. Can't just make pita chips. So we're making pita chips, but <laughs> We're making them more interesting by trying out a bunch of different flavors for the pita chips and kind of seeing which one we like the best. So we've got five different flavors that we are going to try on our pita chips today and we'll see how they turn out. So the first flavor is a nice classic curry. We're using a Vietnamese curry. This is a curry powder that I use a lot, um, especially for, like I said, Vietnamese curry. Uh, so. This is a bit of a classic. We've got taco seasoning, which I happen to have a lot of this. I bought a bunch of these packets in bulk a, a while ago, and uh, because I make that seven layer dip that we made a video of a while ago, I make that a lot. So I just have a bunch of taco seasoning. And to make this a little more fancy, Sun wanted to see how this is gonna taste. Taco seasoning, but also sprinkled with cheese before we bake it. Will they end up crispy? Will they end up soggy? Find out here on Sushi Day. Next, we've got nutritional yeast, which sounds weird if you're not familiar with nutritional yeast, but this is something that is often used to give vegan dishes a cheesy flavor. So I figured, let's try this. I've heard of a lot of people putting nooch, as this is known, on popcorn. It might work. I happen to have it, so we're gonna try it. Next, because Sun wanted to experiment, we are taking the powder and also the oil from this one, because this one came with a little oil packet, from ramen and seeing how the flavorings work as seasoning for pita chips, which should be interesting. And then last but not least, because we want something a little sweet, some dessert pita chips. Uh, this is a bit of a classic one also. We are doing some cinnamon sugar. Those are the five flavors. Let's make them and see how they turn out. For each flavor that we're doing, we're gonna mix a little bit of canola oil with the seasoning, and then we're gonna brush that onto the pita chips. So first things first, let's mix the oils before we cut the pita chips or anything. This one is the taco seasoning. Next, we've got the nooch. We're doing the nutritional yeast, and this one should be interesting because it's a bit more flaky. So I am wondering how this is gonna work. We have the ramen, which this is my favorite instant ramen, and I really, really love this stuff. It's nice and garlicky. So we've got the soup base and the oil. A little bit of that. Good, we also wanna put in oil. So I'm going to use the whole packet of this. Mm, it smells really good. Lastly, we've got the one that I am most confident is going to taste good. This is the cinnamon sugar. So I'm going to mix that into oil. 
There we have it, our different flavorings for our pita chips. Now it's time to cut our pita chips into wedges. So I'm just gonna cut each pita bread. These are pita breads, not pita chips. <laughs> cut each bread into eight wedges. It should be able to split. And we're just gonna see if I can just break it, but I might actually cut it at the end. And now we've got two pita chips. So we've cut up our pita chips and we've got them on a sheet pan <laughs> that's got parchment paper on top. And we need to brush them with all of the different flavorings that we made. So we've got them in little groups of three. So each group is gonna be a different flavor. Brush them on both sides with the oil and the flavorings. All of our pita chips have their toppings. So now it is time to bake. We put the pita chips in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about seven minutes, which may or may not have been too long. I don't know. They always say like, keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't burn. But honestly, in oven lighting, it's really hard to tell if something's burnt. Half the time I'll take it out and be like, that's barely cooked. And half the time I'll take it out and be like, that's way more burnt than it looked. We've taken them out. And you know how a mall food court smells? You've got like the pizza place, you've got kind of a garlicky smell from whatever generic Asian restaurant they have. And then there's kind of like the cinnamon sugar smell from either Cinnabon or Wetzel's Pretzels. So you've got all of these flavors kind of intermingling. That's how my kitchen smells right now. Cause we've got all these different flavors on the different chips and we bake them all at one time. So it's this kind of tasty combination smell of all the things. Pita chips are done and it's time for us to taste. Let's see how these turned out. <laughs> all right, I've got my little, little, your little tasting buddy. <laughs> I've got my tasting buddy and yes. we are ready to try some pita chips. First one we're trying is Which the one? curry. Mm. The mic is right there, okay. It's, it's spicy. spicy, but I don't taste the curry. Like, there's a bit of a spice that gets me in the back of the throat. Oh, I can kind of taste it. Very faint. Very faintly. But I think it's because it's Vietnamese curry that you use, right? Yes, I did use different that. Different curry, but... have different sort of flavor. You're really close to me. <laughs> He's terrified. No, but there should still, because, mm. you know, when we make Vietnamese curry, it's not like it's bland. Mm -hmm. So there should be a good amount of flavor, but... Yeah, I'm not sure why. Maybe know. you need to put more. It's, it's tasty. tasty, it's just not super curry. And you thought you burnt it, but I don't think so. It's very crunchy. It's just oily, I think. Mm -hmm. Pita chip number two is the taco pita mm. chip with, I'm looking forward to this with the cheese. And the cheese baked up, it looks crunchy. Yeah. Mm. It smells like um like those frozen dinner pizza that I used to like. It does. Those sausage pizza. It actually really tastes mm. like those oh frozen God. pizzas. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It is really tasty. It's I not like very taco though. It no. it tastes very pizza. Yeah. Like, the flavors are coming through. Mm -hmm. It's very flavorful, much more than the curry one was. But I was also right that the cheese made it a little bit soggier. Mm -hmm. It's not as crunchy, but it is still pretty crunchy, mm -hmm. but not quite as crunchy as the other ones. So far, that's the winner. I may have to make that one for the entire rest of the pita chips. Mm -hmm. Pita chip number three is the nutritional yeast. No. It's a uh, bit strong. Yeah, it is a little bit strong. Also a little on the soggier side. It's not bad. It's a good snack. I would say it's my least favorite of the three though. Yeah. I like this more than the curry. Mm. Pita chip number four, the one that you I know have been waiting for. Yes. And this actually was his idea, is the ramen seasoning yes. pita chip. We might take this to market also. <laughs> we might okay. we might create an empire. Garlic ramen pita chips empire. Mm. How is it? It smells really good. It smells Asian. It smells like a little bit like soy sauce, caramelized soy sauce, garlic, caramelized onion. onion. But I was right. The garlic did burn a little bit. Mm, it's so good though. It's tasty. I think you get the burnt one. Between this and the taco one, I don't taco know. Taco still wins for me, just by a little bit. All right, last but not least. Which one? We've got is the this? cinnamon sugar. The this is like a little one. dessert. Uh, yeah, it's we, like we, the dessert. We did like a five. I did this on purpose. This I know. A five course meal. A yeah. little oily though. Um, yeah, a little bit oil, oily. 
Really, really you good. You can't go wrong with cinnamon sugar. Really good. It feels like fair food. Mm hmm It tastes like a churro. Mm. It yeah. really tastes like a churro. Because the texture mm -hmm. is also similar, especially if you get the thicker ones that mm -hmm. aren't as crunchy. This works out really well. It's so crunchy. Mm-hmm. I was surprised. It's so crunchy and flavorful and just mm -hmm. really good snack. I mean, you have five different options. We had so many other ideas. Garlic powder or five spice. There's just so many options, flavoring options that you could go with this. I want to know what you would choose. And I want to know from you which one you want me to make more of. More, more tacos, tacos. Uh -huh. and for dessert, more cinnamon sugar. The curry was not bad, but I don't think I'd want more of it, really. Mm -hmm. The nutritional yeast, same thing. Don't really care for more of it. Yeah. And the ramen was good, but is it worth taking the seasoning packet away from? Yeah. You're sacrificing. Sacrificing a good Instant bowl ramen. of noodles. And that's just a darn shame. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm, sacri I'm sacrificing this to uh, Shippy. My lord, Shippy, come here. I have sacrificial pita chips for you, my lord. <laughs> my lord. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sushi Labs Freezer Edition. And I want to know, what ingredients do you have in your freezer, in your pantry, that are just kind of sitting there and you need to know how to use them up? Because who knows, maybe I have them in my freezer or pantry and I could do a Sushi Labs with them. If you are not yet subbed to this channel, hit that sub button and turn your notifications on because we've got lots more fun stuff coming up. And if you could leave a little like on this video, that does help as well. We'll see you next time. Today, we are turning this into... <laughs> that was not my fault.